is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing the BAM box for this month. So of course this time it did arrive on time. So they're back on their normal schedule type thing and they have their BAM, actual like BAM boxes back again and everything. So we're back to normal on that and the theme for this month is I believe it's heroes and villains, unlikely heroes or something along those lines. It's some weird thing. Uh, but since they did do their box, they uh... Um, have a new design stuff all on the inside. It looks like a bunch of cartoon stuff and everything. Um, but it's... Okay, so first off, this is kind of funny. We have a patch. I don't know if this was left out of the last... We personally did not get it, but I haven't seen anybody else's videos to see if they didn't get it either. But we were missing this, and I never ended up contacting Bambox. I forgot to do it. Um, but it's weird that we have it. So I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to go back and see if any if this was just something that they forgot to put in boxes and so now they're adding it in here or if they somehow saw our video and saw we weren't didn't get it and sent it to me or something like that not exactly sure um, but I'm super excited about this box um, because uh, so, so some of the stuff that's gonna be in it sounds awesome and I believe we're supposed to get a bonus item of some sort to like as like a we're sorry type thing for the past couple months and so I don't know what it's gonna be or if they'll have it labeled specially or anything like that but this box is kind of heavy and stuff compared to normal so we'll just go ahead and get it and first off which is what we had a guess it was we have a Nacho Libre mask or at least I assume that's what this is um, because one of the theme items was uh, Nacho Libre and it said wearable item so we assumed it was going to be masked. So you'll probably see me wearing this mask in a couple videos because I love wearing masks and stuff. And especially having like a luchador mask like this, I'm going to wear it quite a bit. So that is awesome to start out with. Uh, next up we have a Batman uh, journal, I guess it is. is uh, well, go ahead and open it. I mean it's a journal so it doesn't... It's not really that cool because obviously we get a lot of journals and it's not like I'm a journal keeper or anything like that. I don't know many people that are. Um, so that kind of stinks about this, but this one is really awesome. So it's Batman, as I said, and it's textured like his armor. So, all this stuff on there. so I don't know if you can see, yeah, see all that texture and stuff. So it looks like his armor and like chest plate and stuff and has a real uh, nice texture to it and everything. It looks like there's dirt up here and stuff, but not exactly sure. Um, oh, that's awesome. So, there's like an inside with a bunch of bat logos, and then there's like some drawing stuff in here and some words, and there's like a picture of Two-Face and everything. So, that is really cool. Um, what was that? Oh, it's a string. Um, so there, yeah, there's a whole bunch of like Gotham City like drawn and stuff. It looks like another Two-Face drawing getting into a limo. And so, up through here, there's a whole bunch of like, I don't know if this is like a story or what this is. But it goes up to this point, and then it's just an empty book thing that you can write and stuff. So that is actually really cool. I'll have to read through that and see if it's like a story or something going on there. I don't know if it says, uh, nope, just real paper. Um, so that was pretty cool. Like I said, it's a journal, so it's not really something um, that I like, think is awesome or anything. Um, but having that stuff at the beginning looked pretty cool. Next up, we have a patch, which they don't. I don't say besides this one, I don't know if it's a new thing they're doing, but it's a patch and it is of Sloth from the Goonies where he's ripping his shirt apart and has his Superman shirt on. Hey you guys! Yeah, I like that. Um, so that's really cool. Like, these are really nice patches. They're big and then they have a nice, um, like, sewn border thing around and stuff. So those are really nice. Um, but again, they're patches, so I don't really know exactly um, what to do with them or anything. Uh, but next up we have a picture, and I assume this is our bonus item. It says extra item, so I don't know if that means the bonus or not. But this is actually really cool. It is an E.T. picture. And so we have E.T., so like a, it's a big outline of E.T., but it's of course got designed to like the forest and all sorts of stuff in the back. So you can see E.T., and then there's a picture of E.T. and Elliot down here at the bottom and stuff. Of course has the moon with the bicycle going across in front of it. So that's an awesome picture. That's really nice. And of course there's nothing in it saying though who it is like who did everything that's really cool because E.T. was one of my favorite movies as a yeah. child and this that's a really awesome picture whoever did that was awesome at that um next up we have our pin and it is a uh, Shaun of the Dead so we have Shaun there with his like cricket bat thing with blood on it and so it says June's theme um heroes and villains unlikely heroes and um 
than upon it. The pin, oh, it's got something. But it said something, it says something about you, your, and Sean, but the little, like, thing on the back is cutting off. Uh, so I'll have to look at it in the book to see exactly what it's called and everything. And it says something about a limited release, so I don't know if that's a special one or not. Um, but next up we have another picture. <laughs> this one's awesome too. It is another Goonies picture. And it is a weird picture of Sloth with Chunk here at the bottom. And he's got his little baby Ruth um, candy bar there and stuff. And of course we have the Sloth all muscled up and everything in his Superman shirt. So that's a funny and awesome picture. And it says this um, Bambox fan art collection art print. Uh, Chunk and Sloth have been hand signed by Tim Odlin as the um, author so there's his signature down there at the bottom so that's a really awesome picture they're doing good with these pictures so far and next up we have what I'm most excited about which is our picture of Power Ranger and of course this is what I thought it'd be so we have the Red Ranger of course signed by Austin St. John which if you saw our Comic Con video from a couple months ago I actually got to go meet Austin St. John and I got his autograph on like three things and stuff like that um, so like I said, I don't, I said in the last video, I, we assume this is probably who would be, you know, in our luck and stuff and not some new pe person. But like I said, I don't care. I don't have this picture signed by him. Um, and it's just awesome. I love this. I was so excited about this. And I wish they would do more Power Rangers. Um, but it says custom 8x10, hand signed by Austin St. John, who is the original Red Ranger. And then we have our certificate of authenticity and stuff. So this is so awesome. I love this so much. This box has been awesome. And so that looks like that is everything, and I'll just show There's some more of the new art stuff they added. Oh, that's cool. There's a Tina as Chitara. Oh, yeah. Um, so that's the new uh, box and stuff that they've done. So I'll set that aside. Now we will look at our book here. Um, so first up, we have the Shaun of the Dead uh, fan art, or says Shaun fan art uh, collector's pin. And so it says... Um, this one it doesn't say anything about so this must just be the regular one so nothing really special about it then it says um, there's a one where he's all covered in blood that's limited to a thousand and then one where he's like a zombie covered in blood to 250 um, so then we have the um, pirate sloth the patch and then our picture of sloth and it looks like a limited edition one was him with a pirate hat on his head just like this picture has there too. Um, so that is still really cool. Um, but I do remember now that they said they were introducing like limited editions and um, like rare ones or whatever. So we can see that with of course the pins which they've been doing so now a picture and everything. Then we have the Bambox signing with Austin St. John the Red Power Ranger um, picture there which was super awesome. and. Just can't wait to add this. I'll have to get another picture for me to put this one into to add to all my or to my other things I got signed and stuff. Then we have our prop replica from Nacho Libre. Nacho! That was such a fun movie. Um, so we have that there. And okay, there's nothing more added on to that. Then we have our um, Batman um, hand ruled, it's a hand, hardcover real journal with Batman notes. So that's what all that stuff at the beginning was, was Batman notes type thing, which was really cool. And then it looks like there was also a giveaway of a signed Hugh Jackman Wolverine uh, picture there that you could get. And then it says next month's theme is Animal Influence. Or it says it'll be Heroes and Villains Animal Influence. So they're doing something with that Heroes and Villains thing. It must be... Um, and so yes, so the ET was our extra, and then we do did get our Nostromo patch and stuff like that. So that is all awesome that we got this. So bro, what was your favorite item out of this box? Uh, it's gonna be a toss up between the uh, ET picture and the Nostromo patch because I mean ET and Aliens are both my favorite films. Yeah, um, I really like this like the patch I mean I don't again don't care about patches that patch is cool along with the sloth one this picture is super awesome I love the look of this one and of course this is definitely going to be my favorite but I really like the Nacho Libre mask too because I can't wait to put this on and wear it and everything um, so everything was really cool like I said the pins I don't really care much about the pins um, 
but at least it's something I know what it is, obviously, from seeing it. And then, again, the journal's not that cool, but having the Batman notes on the inside is awesome to add to that. So, overall, that was a really good um, box, and I don't know if I show it, but there's the cover for the unlikely heroes and villains and stuff. But that's going to be it for this BAM box. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.